Okay, this how-to video is going to go through um, some of the console window settings that you can have inside of a Capture and Capture CIS. So um, by default, there's a, some docked windows. So we've got a kind of a docked project window. Uh, we've got a docked uh, session log, online DRC and command window. These are kind of all panned in together. You can obviously undock these and make these floating, which I'll cover in a little bit later. There's some default settings for things like colors. So if you look under the options and preferences menu, uh, there's an application theme for light or dark and the same for the schematic theme. So let's just go and select this as dark and hit OK. And you'll see effectively the, the, the working area then goes into a dark theme. Uh, if you want to do the same for the application window, so kind of the toolbars and the, the project windows, etc. We have to do a restart. So we'll do an options and preferences. We'll change this to dark theme and you'll see it says requires restart here. So click OK. And then we'll just close all CAD capture down. And then if we relaunch it, you can see straight away we get a dark theme on the on the license picker and a dark theme effectively on the, the application window. So we'll just let's go up in a couple of designs. So we've got a, an example design here from the start page. And we get our tabbed window again on the left hand side for our project window. Uh, let's go back to the start page. I'm just going to open uh, let's go and open this one as well. And we'll open this one as well. So we get these little uh, arrows in the in the window, so I can make this. Uh, let's make this floating, sorry, and then I can then go and drag this down, and you'll see these bars that come up that allow me to kind of dock it. So this thing gives me effectively a tabbed project window. So I've got project one, project two, and project three. So I can keep them very well separated, nice and easy. But what I really want to do is start to maximize my workspace because I'm losing kind of a working area here. So um, if you've got dual screen monitors or, or three screen monitors, <laughs> as many monitors as you can get, obviously what we can do is maximize that. I'm limited to kind of just one screen to show this demo. So I'm going to try and get everything onto the one screen so you can see it. But by hitting these little down arrows and making them floating, you can see that I can just move these off to second monitors or third monitors or wherever I need to go. Um, so I can effectively maximize the working area that I have. So that gives me uh, the bit at the bottom. We can do the same with the project windows. So let's make all the, the project windows floating. So I'm now effectively just working a quite large working area, just a single kind of canvas area. So let's go and open a couple of pages. So let's go and open a page from here. And we'll go and open a, a page from here. And again, you can just drag these project, these page folders out into different parts of the window. Um, you can actually copy and paste between these two. So if I went to um, just go and copy a couple of nets, for example, we'll do a control C, come to this window, control paste. So I can copy between designs nice and easy, especially for one second monitors. If I need to put everything back together, um, I can obviously just drag um, these windows back in and you see these icon, these little graphical representations in the different locations allow me to kind of if I wanted to dock it in the middle. So I want to dock this at the bottom on the bottom edge again. So we'll dock the session log into there. The command window I can again bo box it beneath that or I can actually uh, map it inside that then give me this tabbed option. We'll do the same for the online DRC. So drop it into the middle I then get this tab. So my three windows are then tabbed at the bottom. Um, I'll just close the, the graphical window over. We'll bring the project window in just dock that on the left. We'll bring the other project window in and we'll dock it in the middle of the left hand side. So again, we get the tabs and then dock that final one in. So we now maximize the window. Let's just make the project window a little bit bigger. You can see effectively I get my three different project windows that I then know exactly what's going on from a design point of view. And the command window and the session log will update depending on which um, project window is active. 